Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Wandile here, the leader of Maniqua School. And today we're going to be doing exercise 1.2 from student B's perspective. Before we do so, though, there's something I want to clear out. Um, on the last tutorial, which was exercise 1.2a, by mistake, I called my class exercise 1.1a. So that's what I want to solve right now. You simply go to the class, you right click, you just go reflector and go rename. What I want to do is to replace this one over here by two. And then hit finish. Just go finish again. Okay, now we're good to go. The class is properly named. So now let's do what we gotta do on this video here. That is to do exercise 1.1 from student. That is to do exercise 1.2 from student B's perspective. So our class is named exercise 1.2 B, and when we add the main method. So let's put here what is it that student B is going to do. Stu student B will show the effect of adding something inside the, inside the quotes. So you guys are really suck when it comes to spelling. That's <laughs> so why I think you're gonna have to bear with me with that. Okay. So let's see. Student B. This is what student B does. Okay. It's sys. Oops. It's system dot out dot print. Then you go or come to Java. However, he puts stars after the word Java and before the word welcome. And then you go to the next one system.out.print. Simply duplicate this five times. One, two, three, four, five. Then we hit the run button and see what we get. This is what we get. Welcome to Java, welcome to Java five times, right? So the lesson here is you see, by putting something inside these codes, that will affect your output. Whatever is it you put here, even if you decide to put a dollar, you're going to have a bunch of dollars and they wait welcome to Java. So that's pretty much it for from student B's perspective on exercise 1.2. So cheers you guys, I'll see you on the next video, which will be from student C's perspective. Cheers.